Hey, brothers and sisters, I hope and pray everybody's doing well. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. And whomever the Lord wills, um, I pray the Lord brings to this message because, brothers and sisters, this is literally one of the most important times in humanity. Um, and, and I know some of you might be thinking, well, duh, um, but I'm going to tell you why. The reason for me saying that is we have a lunar eclipse coming up. Um, it's going to be November tomorrow. So, um, in a couple weeks from now, November, uh, I can't remember exactly, um, either 9th or 10th, 11th, 12th, something like that. Anyway, within the next couple weeks um, or so is a lunar eclipse. And remember what the Lord said, brothers and sisters, the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and on earth, the, the sea and the waves worn, roaring, perplexity of, of nations. And... Brothers and sisters, the thing about the signs is that the Lord has shown people what these signs, what these signs mean. Like if you're driving on the road, what good is a sign, right? If it doesn't tell you what direction to go, the sign gets so, so these signs in the sun and the moon and the stars, the lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, the, um, the solar rays coming off of the sun, um, the asteroids, the comets, what I'm talking about now is asteroid AP7, okay? The Lord let has, he's given the people the understanding of what this actually means so that we can know what is this, this, um, this asteroid, what is it a sign of, okay? And that's what I'm going to share with you today. And the reasoning of why this time, why these next few days, brothers and sisters, are so important leading up to this blood moon or lunar eclipse. Um, brothers and sisters, there's not the those those lunar eclipse, these eclipses are a sign of a warning or a sign that something just happened or is about to happen, something like that. And after this lunar eclipse in the next couple of weeks, brothers and sisters, there's none for until 2025. Brothers and sisters, that is very significant. Okay. That is very extremely significant and imperative. And, and I pray that this that this would motivate us um to do the bet to to do what we need to do until because once this sign happens brothers and sisters all the signs that are happening in the sun and the moon and the stars are telling us that after that moment there is going to be a very big change and a lot of things happening that were prophesied in the word of god that deal with destruction and death and all those sorts of things but um so I want to share with you what this actually means, this comet and this lunar eclipse. Also, brothers and sisters, this lunar eclipse in a couple weeks is also happening around the same time that we have elections in Israel. Elections, um, I believe our elections too, um, happen in the next week or two or something like that. And so this time brothers and sisters but this time now leading up to the eclipse it is very important what you do right the offerings that you bring before the lord the prayers because what they can do is they can mitigate right they can mitigate the outcome of things that are going to happen and brothers and sisters there's judgment coming upon the world right and and that's what the world wants. The world has told God, no, we want our sin. And so have many, many people. But you can intercede for the people around you. You can intercede to the Lord for blessing and, and lay your, your body, right? It says to lay your body down as a living sacrifice, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, when you out of love in your heart offer up a fast unto the Lord, because something is moving in your heart, maybe it's to intercede for your family or or for or for somebody 
or for a, for a blessing or something like that, a spiritual growth or blessing or deliverance. The Lord, when you do those things out of love in your heart, those are pleasing and acceptable. And he will honor those things, brothers and sisters. But this time now leading up into the lunar eclipse, brothers and sisters, it is so imperative that we stand in the gap right now in the next couple of weeks um, more than ever more than ever. And I'm going to show you what this asteroid AP7, what this actually means, because the Lord has given his people the understanding so that we can share these things so that we can be warned and know what's going on. Now, brothers and sisters, you're going to notice that the world, right? They're telling us about this comet, but they're calling it a planet killer. Now, brothers and sisters, when people in the world, when they hear this, people who are not spiritual, they think that Oh, you know, they're talking, they're, they're thinking this asteroid is going to physically hit the physical realm and in the physical earth and that it's going to, um, it's going to hit the earth and cause a destruction. Brothers and sisters, this is, this is a killer asteroid. This is a killer asteroid because of what it means in the spiritual realm, what this thing actually means when this comet goes by us. What this actually is representing is is going to happen in the spiritual and in the earth. Okay, so, um, so this is Comet twenty twenty two, but it's called AP seven. Okay, and the way that the Holy Spirit has shown me this, brother, and and a lot of people who have known me for a while, no, uh, I I'm I've shared this with, so you can look up the the meanings of these comets and asteroids yourself. But a Okay, so A will equal, uh, like A equals one, B equals two, you know, and you look up, you can look up these numbers in strong. So A equals one, P equals 16. So this AP part of this asteroid, it was named this for a reason, brothers and sisters, okay? And this AP part equals the, 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 um, it equals 116. Okay, this is what the Holy Spirit showed me. So 116 in Strong's means then, thereupon, and it also means capital or um, Athens, capital of Attica in Greece. So, so you might think that, oh, you know, big deal, right? Means then, then, and it means and then or then. But when you get down to the Hebrew, when the older Hebrew meaning, right? Um, that uh, Strong's 116, it can mean then, afterwards, thereupon, and from that time. Okay, so it's like, okay, big deal, right? But the other thing about this asteroid is it's AP, but then it's also the letter seven. So when you look up seven in Strong's, it is to perish, okay? And when you look at when these, um, when this, these words are used in the scriptures, everything from Jeremiah, a, Jer a lot of Jeremiah, a lot of Daniel is being fulfilled right now is happening, is manifesting. Um, and so this is what this asteroid is telling us, brothers and sisters, that these things are going to be manifesting. They're going to end. And, and so it could be, this could be um, the, one of the meanings of this asteroid is, and then, or thereupon, and from that moment, they will perish or to perish. Okay. So that's a very big deal, brothers and sisters. That's what this member, what the Lord said, brothers and sisters, the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, brothers and sisters. The Lord is not just having these, all these comets and asteroids go by. Nobody knows what they mean. He's given his people the, the, revelations to know what these things means to 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 blow the trumpet to let people know what this sign actually means the lord does nothing unless he reveals his things to his servants the prophets not because they're so great brothers and sisters but to let people know to warn people of what is coming okay so um now this lunar eclipse 
is on November 14th, so around two weeks from now. And brothers and sisters, after that lunar eclipse, there will not be another lunar eclipse until 2025. No more lunar eclipses. Remember what the Lord said. Um, um, he said that the sun will be turned to blood, the moon to darkness before that great and terrible notable day of the Lord. And remember, brothers and sisters, the solar eclipse, the next, the, the, the great big solar eclipse that we have is going to be in 2024, the great solar American eclipse coming across. Remember in 2017, we had the one uh, solar eclipse coming across from West Coast to East Coast. Now we have the other one coming across East Coast to West Coast making an X in the United States of America, Babylon, um, or modern Egypt also making an X in, I believe it's Illinois, in a town called Little Egypt, okay? So these are very major signs, and that these elections, brothers and sisters, are happening around towards the middle of November. What this is meaning in the spiritual realm, brothers and sisters, is that the things that we do, the intercessions, the offerings that we bring for the Lord out of purity in our heart, the prayers that we make for um for maybe it's for the uh, our lost family members, maybe it's for um to be free or delivered of something, maybe it you know praying just the things that the Lord told us to pray that we be counted worthy, that we be presented before the Lord blameless, um. Um, that we be held from the hour of temptation and the hour of trial, right? Right now, especially leading up to this time before the lunar eclipse, brothers and sisters, is very important because you can mitigate, you can mitigate what happens to you, to the people you love, and you can mitigate and intercede and make things happen, not just for you, but in the whole world. So this is a very important time, brothers and sisters. I pray, I hope that you take this seriously. And brothers and sisters, just remember, just remember this. What you do, the things, the actions, and the things that you do now reveal and shows who you are. And brothers and sisters, they're the, the true children of God, the true intercessors, the true children of God. They do my, mighty, mighty, mighty and great things for, for, for the world, for the lost, and also to glorify the Lord, right? And I want to encourage you to do those mighty things. And I'm going to be praying for all of us that we have the, the desire, the strength, the energy, that the Holy Spirit and the word of the Lord would move in us, that these things be fulfilled, that we would do these things. It says in the book of Daniel, yes, even though the enemy, we are handed over to for a short time in the enemy's hand, it says we also do mighty exploits against the enemy, right? So even though, yes, we're going to be being purged and refined and, and it seems like the enemy is going to be having the upper hand, but we can still do, we can still um, do mighty, mighty, mighty things, right? Mighty, mighty things. And the Lord said, who can endure? He said, can you endure to the end? right? But if you don't pr spend the time praying right now, if you don't it, spend that time with the Lord, you're not going to have enough oil, brothers and sisters. You got to go through all of these challenges and attacks that the Lord allows to happen to you. Handle them in the way of Christ. Love your enemies. And you're going to be building up that oil in you because if you don't do that now, brothers and sisters, you won't have when, when, when the time comes, you're not going to have what you need to um to to get through to the end and and that oil can't be given to you you have to go out and get it for yourself you have to allow these trials and persecution and you got to handle it in the way of christ not handle it out of your emotions and because you feel this way about things you must handle it in the way of christ if you're an overcomer 
if you're an overcomer. There's a reason, brothers and sisters, that in the physical realm, these teams, the, the Philadelphia teams right now are doing good. It's because the church in Philadelphia in the spiritual realm and, and when things happen in the spiritual realm and it comes through into the physical, it manifests in these ways that we can see around us in this world. It's absolutely amazing when you truly see it. So I wanted to share these things with you guys. God bless you. I love you. I'm praying for you and and really dig in, do your best to dig in right now and to intercede and to spend time with the Lord and move the heart of the Lord right now, especially leading up to this lunar eclipse here in a couple of weeks. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ.